You know what Jay and I do when we're on set and we're trying to figure out whether we should go this way or that way? We, we grunt. And, and mm, 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 mm. That's the conversation. That's, the That's conversation. what it looks like. Yeah. This is how brother filmmakers communicate. In general, when we make stuff, we, we call it like the caveman process where it's more a physical process of like putting things in the world and it's much more based on like doing things and then the other person will like react to what has been done but not n talk too much about what's been done. Yeah, if we're on a plane, we'll hang out and we'll talk about stupid stuff. But when we're working, it's not, um, it's not a words thing. It's like a, a very much kind of animalistic and a personal thing. We don't learn a lot from each other because we kind of function as the same person. We kind of function as like two sides of the same person. Mm -hmm. There Almost, are aberrations in there, but it's yeah. pretty much a single force. A single force, and then we sort of polarize within that force. We yeah. sort of play roles. I don't know where the learning comes from. The learning comes from watching people watch our movies and either laugh or don't laugh right. or cry or don't well, that cry. That wasn't funny. That wasn't I funny. learned something. Yeah. That really long edit we made where someone was like walking a long time to the car in their underwear, it was yeah. not as funny as we thought yeah. it was going to be because they didn't laugh. We thought it was a funny tone I poem. I learned that right there, the hard way. Not good. In the audience. That was not good. Yeah. So I think if I was going to give you a big piece of advice, <clears throat> It would probably be a hike. Yeah. It would probably be a hike where we take a walk and then we have to look forward and we don't have to look at each other because we know it's going to be a big thing. And then about 10 seconds into me saying it, you'd already know what I was going to say and then we'd be fine. Right. It would be like a maybe. Remember that time? And be like, I got maybe, it. Maybe, I got go, it. maybe go for that. I got and it. And yeah, you would say, yeah. I got it before yeah. I even got to the thing. Right. Yeah. Check. I don't know how helpful this is, but this is how we communicate. I always end up bailing when uh, things get really, really tough on a scene or an episode or a movie. If it's like 97%, I'm like, that's good. We're good, let's move on. And, uh, and you have nice fortitude and patience to stick in there. One time when I was about seven and Jay was 11 and our friend Brant Pratt was nine, who uh, was a bit of an interloper in our relationship. Um, he came between us and it was difficult at times because Jay wanted to play with him a little bit more than me because I was just younger. They started a business together called J&B, stood for Jay and Brandt, and they spray painted it on a box. And I, like Travis Bickle, watched darkly from the corner as this happened for a day. And when he went home and when everybody went to sleep, came downstairs with a hammer and I destroyed that fucking box. Um, and I, I still do that to this day in much more subtle ways so that I can keep you mine. Um, but uh, Little did you know, I left the hammer out. You left the hammer out. <laughs> making movies is hard. Yeah. And making good movies is like almost impossible. So to have like someone that you share the same sense of humor, same sensibility, working yeah. right next to you is it, it's insane. only helpful only for helpful. people like us yeah yeah